Welcome back guys. In this video, let's take a look at binding classes to HTML elements in Angular. Now to get us started, I've created a few classes. A text success class that has a font color of green, a text danger class that has a font color of red, and a text special class that has a font style of italics. And in the template, I have an h2 tag that says code evolution. Now, the regular way to apply a class to this element is using the class attribute. So we can say class is equal to text success. And if you take a look at the browser, code evolution is now in green font color. To use class binding, however, we need to declare a new property and assign to it the class name. So in the test component class, I'm going to create a new property. I'm going to call this success class and assign to it text success. Then in our template, we can use the square bracket syntax to bind the class. So create a new h2 tag with code evolution as the text. And then we are going to have class within square brackets and to this assign success class property. Now, if you take a look at the browser, you can see that the result is the same. We have code evolution in green color. But what happens when we use both a class attribute and the class binding in the same HTML element? Let's take a look. I'm going to create another H2 element and add a class of text special and a class binding to the success class property. Now, if you save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that the text is in green, but it is not in italics. So a regular class attribute becomes a dummy attribute in the presence of class binding. You have to use one or the other, but not both. All right, there is another syntax to class binding. And what this syntax does is apply a class based on an expression that evaluates to be either true or false. Let's take a look at an example. I'm going to create another h2 tag and I'm going to create a new property as well. I'm going to name this has error and set it to true. Now I want to apply the text danger class to this h2 element based on whether this has error property is true or false. For that, the syntax is within square brackets, class, followed by a dot, followed by the name of the class that we want to conditionally apply. In our case, it is text danger. And to this, we assign an expression that evaluates to true or false. So this is going to be has error property. Right now, has error is true, which means the text danger class will be applied to the element. So if you take a look at the browser, you can see that the text is in red. So it is possible to toggle the text danger class by changing the value of this has error property. So if I change has error to false, you can see that the text danger class will no longer be applied and code evolution is in black color. Now this works fine when we want to conditionally apply a single class. But if you want to conditionally apply multiple classes, Angular provides us with the ng class directive. Now a directive is nothing but a custom HTML attribute that Angular provides. So let's take a look at an example. Now to use this ng class directive, let's begin by adding new properties to our component class. So I'm going to add public is special and set it to true. And I'm also going to add an object. Now this is going to be message classes. We are going to have text success, which is a class that we have defined. And this is going to be not of this dot has error text danger class. And this is going to be set to this dot has error. And finally, text special class that is set to this dot is special. And then in our template, we are going to add a new h2 element. And we are going to use the ng class directive. The syntax is within square brackets. You use the keyword ng class 
and to this you bind an object. So this is going to be message classes object that we have just created. So what happens is that Angular identifies message classes has to be applied to this element. In the object, it checks which classes are set to true. Right now, has error is false. So not of this dot has error is true. So text success class will be applied. Is special is also true. So text special class will also be applied. So if you take a look at the browser, code evolution at the very end is in green and italics. And if I set has error to true, the browser is going to refresh, text danger gets applied and the message is now in red and italics. So class binding is really useful because it allows you to dynamically add or remove classes to HTML elements based on certain user interactions or state of your application. You can change the classes being applied by changing the properties in your component class. Alright, with that, let's take a look at style binding in the next video.